We have to make decisive moves, and we are making deci more decisive moves today. Um, uh, we are, as you would have seen in the statement, going to limit gatherings outside of work and schools to 10 persons or fewer, and ensure that phys physical distancing of at least one meter can be achieved in settings where interactions are non-transient. So with that as a guiding principle, uh, we will close all bars and entertainment venues like nightclubs, discos, cinemas, theatres, and karaoke outlets where there is a high risk of transmission due to sustained close contact over a period of time. We will put in place restrictions on other public venues like retail malls, museums, and attractions where the contact is more transient. These venues may remain open, but with additional restrictions. We will continue to keep open food and beverage venues, but again with restrictions which we have already introduced, namely uh, to have sufficient separation between tables, but now we will also restrict the groups of diners to be 10 persons or fewer. Uh, we will suspend all centre-based tuition and enrichment activities and classes uh, because this, again, is an activity that has lots of mingling between students and we have to uh, reduce such activities. We will suspend all religious services and congregations. We will cancel or defer all events and mass gatherings regardless of size. And we advise all Singaporeans to avoid holding or participating in social events or gatherings involving more than 10 persons at any one time. This would include private celebrations like birthdays and weddings. Uh, these measures will all take effect from the 26th of March 2359, Thursday night 2359, meaning from Friday onwards. And we expect these measures to be in place until 30th of April, so about a month or two incubation cycles, but it may be extended if the situation does not improve.